Brittany Briggs and welcome to Sun Suburbs Today. This webcast brings you the latest news and happenings for the Northwest Metro each day. At its December 7th meeting, the Robbinsdale District 281 School Board approved Superintendent Aldo Sicoli's administrative reorganization plan that will take effect next July in which three administrative positions would be eliminated. The positions will be reorganized and renamed. In the wake of this announcement, however, Finance Director Gary Hahn submitted his resignation effective at the new year. The district has begun an immediate search to replace him. In further District 281 news, Robbinsdale Area Schools and the Robbinsdale Federation of Teachers filed for mediation in their attempt to forge a new two-year contract December 4th. The present contract expired June 30th. An estimated 150 members of the Federation, all wearing black, appeared at the school board's public tax hearing December 7th in a 30-minute silent public statement of unity. Also awaiting completion of contract negotiations, members of the Anoka Hennepin Education Minnesota Teachers Union for Anoka Hennepin School District showed their discontent at the November 23rd Anoka Hennepin School Board meeting. Around 100 supporters dressed in red showed up with petitions asking for swifter negotiations before the January 15th state deadline. County Board of Commissioners will take final action December 15th on proposed upgrades for three area youth sports facilities including $48,940 for the New Hope Athletic Field, $225,000 for the Inbrook School Athletic Field in Brooklyn Park, and $210,000 for the Zanewood School Field in Brooklyn Park. Fifteen other metro area projects have been proposed for funding as well. For Sun Newspapers, I'm Stephanie Briggs. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend.